And that's the way it is, oh well Been waiting all my life for this So I can't let this moment slip, oh no Put it in a pot, let it bubble up This shit ain't been the same since I leveled up You really gotta make some changes to level up It's a lot of money in this world, go and get you some And now nah, I can't wait on strangers to get it done I do this shit all by my lonely, I'm a one-on-one I ain't lying to my homies if they wrong, they wrong Only You know what's going on, Penthouse Television, your boy Bang Belly Films Yes sir! Okay, we live, we waiting to see who we can catch On the red carpet We got photos going on behind us we got people in this motherfucker fresh to death, like people putting that shit on. We're going to see who exactly put that shit on today, too, because we're going to check these fits out. We're going to see what they're wearing. We're going to ask them what they're wearing, and we're going to get the whole nine on that. If you see behind me, look behind me. Look what's going on. Whole lot of motion going on right now. The premiere is starting soon, but shout out to the Herway film. We're here at the Linux. Um, I'm, I'm hearing that it's sold out, 250 seats sold out, which is really crazy. And we got we got Rue Story on deck. Rue Story, come, Rue, come here. Rue, tell us tell us your thoughts on this event being sold out right now. Crazy, amazing, a crazy, amazing thing. Like I said, it just shows the city got amazing support behind us to be able to sell out a venue as a size. 250 people from a local film. It just shows you that we all tapped in, we all together, man. So it's a good feeling. Tell me what are you looking forward to most, like, to this film? What are you looking forward to most? Because I know we've seen the trailers and the previews. What are you looking forward to most in this film? I mean, I'm looking for everything, be honest with you. Like we said, everything, the teasers and all that shit was enough, man. It did it did its job. So I'm looking forward to the whole film. Like I said, I see a lot of different faces, a lot of new people and new cast in there. I'm excited to see how they do with the roles that they was given and stuff like that. So I'm excited to see this thing as a whole. Well, you heard it from the man himself, Ruth Story. Thank you for the interview. Hey, appreciate you, appreciate you. Man, Penthouse Television, we here at the Hardaway Film. We're going to see if we can get the director on deck, too. We're going to talk to the director. We're going to talk to all the uh, cast members. And we're going to see what's going on, man. We're going to let y'all know what's going on. It's your boy, Bang Belly Films. I'm popping it the whole preview. I'm bringing y'all the exclusive, the stuff that y'all would not be able to see nowhere but right here. And I'm giving it to y'all, man. It's going down. Penthouse Television. Let's go. Tell them who we got here today. Oh, yeah, you got Dre Singleton, man. You got your R&B Rebel on deck. My brother Dre Singleton in this thing, and you looking sharp, my brother. Tell us what inspired the look tonight. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I felt like they was going to kill it tonight, you know what I'm saying? So I had to wear all black because we came to a <laughs> funeral low-key, but, you know, it's a celebration, man. So I'm glad that they doing their thing, man. Independent films. Shout out Dom, you know what I'm saying? Shout out my bro Ruth. Shout out Bangy, you know what I mean? You know what it is. Yes, sir. With the independent film, tell us what you are looking forward to most in this film today. Man, I'm looking for character. I'm looking for, you know, uh, I want to see a consistent seeing, I don't know, let's just say good transitions from angles because I, I see a lot of independent films are just where they, they transitions ain't too good. So I'm looking for that, you know what I mean? I'm looking, I'm looking into the scripts and everything. So we looking, we really going to try to dissect some things. And I want to be a part of something next time. So, you know what I mean? I, I got I need to see what they doing. Hey, tap in, get my brother Drizzy behind that film, man. This guy's a hard worker and he ready. Hey, I appreciate you, Drizzy. Nah, for sure. Penthouse Television, man. We here live at the Hardway Film. Just interview with Dre Singleton. They got that shit on. It's going down. These are the exclusives. They you you ain't getting these nowhere else, man. Penthouse Television, let's get it. Put it on. Wait till we get this guy over here. He came suspender crazy. What's up, man? What is it? Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right here. Come on. All right. So they already know who we got. But tell them who we got here today. Hey, man, the biggest to ever come out of the Columbus, Ohio, Ohio period, the biggest in the Midwest, L3, the GOAT, Floyd, whatever you want to call me, man. I'm here. Yes, sir. And you know we're doing this live penthouse television, L3. Yes. Being that you are one of penthouse very own, you're in films now, you're doing radio, you're doing hosting, you're doing everything. Yes. Tell us what we could look forward to or expect from this film. Uh, I feel like this film, like I said, this film means a whole lot to me. People don't understand. It's the story behind this film that I want to give to everybody at a future date. But this brought me joy and this opened doors up for me. And this is the beginning of, of this film. As you're going to see it, you're going to love it and you're going to want more. And I'm going to give you more because I'm about to go crazy this year and beyond. And I'm just happy. Everything is just falling in place. Hey, well, listen, my brother is stepping today. All right, so can we talk about the fit? What inspired the fit? Let's talk about the drip. Talk about it. Listen, I want to say shout out to Mr. C at 
K and G. I ain't even go crazy or nothing. I went to my guy, old school, been dressing Columbus for about 20, 30, 40 years. Shout out to you. I met him. He's the greatest guy I ever met. I, I told him, I, I have my shoes. I said, I want to wear these red bottoms now. He said, I got something for you. Put it all together. We took pictures. If you've seen on my Instagram, that's him. So now, he inspired me to go get dressed up every time. Now I want to go see him, and I'm going to get in this more because this is like my first or second time ever putting this on. And I love it. i never seen L3 in his bag, but it looks good on you, brother. You're looking good. I'm proud of you. Appreciate you. Keep doing what you're doing. We're going to get another interview with L3. We're going to get some more with him later. But Penthouse Television, we in the building. We're going to keep it going. Let's go. Hey, you looking good. It's different, but I like it. I like it. I ain't gonna lie. I like it. <laughs> Ooh, okay. All right, tell the people we have here today. Yeah, y'all with Judy, Miss Five Foot Fun Size. <laughs> okay, so it, describe this look and what inspired it. Um, I was going for classy, but a little, I needed some skin. I so love it. Can we do a little 360 real quick? Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so it's giving the giver, okay? It's giving. The season of giving is giving, you know? It's Thanksgiving all again, you know? Tell us, um, what are you looking forward to most in this film? Me. Well, there you have it. We're looking forward to you, too. Um, I don't know what else to say. Look, I'm like the comedy. Um, just everyone. The us coming together, actually making it happen. And we're here. And is this your first film? No, this is my third. Well, listen. What was different for you making this film from your other films? Um, I actually got a leading role. In the other films, I was like more background. My character really wasn't seen as much. This one is her. <laughs> so you a star. You in your light. You in your element. You where you need to be, correct? Yes, sir. We appreciate your time. You looking stunning. You. Give me some love. Love you, baby. Look, I'm like, thank you. Uh -huh. Penthouse Television, you know what it is. Judy just, she's like, uh, y'all... I ain't got to say nothing. I ain't, <laughs> ain't got to say nothing. Y'all see what's going on in here, man. Penthouse Television, Bang Valley Films. Ay, ay, ay. So the movie about to start, so we're going to do this real quick. First and foremost, let them know who we got here today. It's your boy Mafia, a.k.a. the Black Denzel. <laughs> the Black Denzel. I mean, <laughs> the new Denzel. The new Denzel. Hey, either way it go, this is my dog. Been my dog for a long time. You, you love acting. You love movies. You finally got your spot. Tell us what you're looking forward to most with this film. Uh, just seeing a good movie tonight, uh, seeing my acting skills play out, but it was an easy role because I played myself. Easy role, you played yourself. Tell us what your, your favorite part of doing the movie was, what your favorite part of this process was. Uh, just a new experience for me, you know, something different. Um, I used to be, be rapping, you know what I mean, so it's just seeing me in a whole different light, something different I could do. Speaking of the rapping, do we have some music on the way? Some new mafia are we getting? Hey, hey yes we do, man. It's on the way, I promise y'all. I'm sorry for the wait, but it's on the way. You know what I mean? Hey, and you know my dog Mafia got this drip, always got that drip on. Tell us what inspired your drip today, because you know you got that shit on. Tell us what inspired it today. All the money I made yesterday. I'm out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mafia money. Hey, what can I say? Penthouse Television, y'all know what's going on. First and foremost, tell the people who we got with us today. We got Uncle Bird, the streets comedian, here now. Uncle Bird's the streets comedian. So I heard a little birdie told me, I'm not for sure, but you can verify it if you want. A little birdie told me that you had a role in this movie. Oh, man, look, just a little snot rack, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you grab a tissue, you might miss it, but I'm in there. That's what's up. So Uncle Bird, you acting, you doing comedy, you got, your, you got your own shoe line, your own clothing line, you going crazy. You got a show coming up in May, a big show, you headlining. Tell us, what, what's next for Uncle Bird? Uh, we're doing this movie after that. It's called I'm Gonna Get You Fool. It's coming out everywhere. Uh, check me out at the Lincoln Theater, May 26th. You can, you can go ahead and get the uh, bird wings, the shoe size. Go ahead on my website. Get it together. Everything going. And before we get you out of here, tell me what you're looking forward to most with this movie today. Uh, for it not to flop. <laughs> It is not going to flop, man. Yeah, I know. I said that's what I don't uh, want to see. Okay. You know what it is. Uncle Bird, appreciate your time. Love you, baby. Y'all know what it is. Penthouse Television, your boy Bangy. I see, I think I seen my dog SG in the building. First and foremost, I don't know who we got here today. Hey, man, I go by Southfield G. SG, to be exact. <laughs> and my dog got the... What are you sipping on, SG? It's early. It's Casamigo, man. Blame it on that nigga Mafia. <laughs> <laughs> As Gianna Casamigo, tell me what you're looking forward to most in the Hardway film premiere today. Uh, 
you know they got my best friend in here, so I'm looking for some player shit from my mans yeah. off top. You yeah. feel me? Then they got my little nigga Lonnie in here. I'm trying to yeah. see him do his thing, you know what I mean? And shit, whatever else, I'm looking for a surprise, bro. I don't know what to expect in this motherfucker, man. Facts, facts. SG got that shit on today. Tell us what inspired the drip today, SG. Uh, you know, I'm from the city, so, you know, I came back to the CI to Rick. Oh. I don't know. I don't know what inspired the drip today, brother. I just knew I was coming back to Ohio, so I said, let me throw in some sauce, man. <laughs> and before we get you out of here, can we expect a new project from SG soon? And people want to know. Man, that's a perfect question, man. We dropping in June, baby. I just finished the album last night. So it's on the way. June, uh, produced by Ron Ron, the producer. That's yeah. all we're going to say, baby. SG. Oh, man, get my nigga in the road, oh, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nigga in the road, oh, yeah. Man. I'm finna do a movie, too. I'm finna do a movie for the city starring Southfield G. So if y'all want to get some roles in, tap in with your boy. We finna go live. No tap in with my dog. He about to do a movie. We at the Herway Film premiere. It's going crazy. I done talked to so many of the stars here. Yes, hey, sir. I love my brother. Yeah, hey, man. Penthouse Television, Bangy, signing out. Gone. Hey, shout out to Trapper, too. Say it again. Shout out to Trapper. This is city shit. Shout out to Trapper. We out of here. Yes, sir. All right, so um, first and foremost, tell them who we got here today. We got Tone, the director of Her Way, uh, producer of Her Way. All right, so director, producer of Her Way. So is this your first film, Tone? This is actually my first film directing, feature film, so I'm pretty excited about it. I got a couple short films out, but this is the big boy. This is the big boy project, and, and we done made a classic right here with this one. So Tone on this Tyler LaPierre, uh, Tyler LaPierre shit. It's going crazy. He's selling out. Um, he's selling out the uh, the cinema. Tell us what we could look forward to in this Herway film today. A lot of comedy. It's going to be a lot of funny moments in this. Expect Floyd to. Everybody gonna have their ups and downs with Floyd right now. It's going to be a love hate relationship with him. For our Santana, all the women gonna love Santana because because a lot of them can relate to her, and I know it. But yeah, expect a lot of comedy moments. Um, a lot of rela relatable moments, and yeah, pretty much it. You have to see from there. And is this film based on a true story, or is this something that you just had an idea you had in your head? A little bit of both. A lot of people, like I said, a lot of people can relate to it. Uh, uh, oh shit! A lot of people can relate to it, so it's somewhat true and somewhat made up. So, but it's nobody that it's not directed towards nobody that we know in particular. So, somewhat is made up. In that. Tell tell me what your favorite part of the movie is. You don't have to give the scene, but tell me a, a specific whether it was the transition on making the process. Uh, tell me what your favorite whole favorite part of this whole thing was. The um, my, I'll tell you straight up. My favorite part of the movie is this club scene. That's gonna be the one everybody talk about. Right before you enter the club scene, then the whole like process of it was the production of it. It took us. 10, 11 days to shoot this, and we had a, a small period to plan it, but we executed. Like, we, like, with the experience that we got and the team that we got, we was able to do it in a short period of time. So pre-production and production was my favorite two forms of this. I love it. Before we get you out of here, Tone, you got that drip on. I told you I liked the sweater when you walked up. I ain't going to lie. This is honestly some shit I'll wear. Tell us what inspired the drip today. Man, we was bringing the stars out, so I just... I wanted to be one on one, of course, and I don't know, just, just I don't know. <laughs> well, Tyler Perry, Tyler Perry, Spike Lee, some stuff like that. Yeah. Well, just know you don't want to be one of the ones. You are one of those ones. Congratulations, you're doing your thing. This is amazing. I'm looking forward to seeing the movie, and I'm looking forward to seeing everything you got coming, bro. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Hey, that was Tom, man. You know what's going on. Penthouse Television, your boy Bangy here, Bangy shot it, aka Bang Belly Films. You know what's popping. I'm here holding it down at the premiere, Howay Film. I'm the only one that can give you this. The only one that can give you this. You know that. Let's go. All right. First and foremost, let the people know who we got here today. Man, it's Chad Lou. You already know, man. Northside <laughs> type shit. You know the box. Listen, and we're in a professional environment, but you know my dog, Trav, got to be himself. He just don't give a fuck. Yeah. They say, they told the director, said, if you have, said, he said you have one of the funniest scenes. I do, man. Do you think I so? Man, of course, I'm always got the funniest scene. <laughs> female Hustler 1, Female Hustler 2. Go see that shit on Tubi, man. We doing shit live right now. Man. My nigga Bang, you shot it, man. You know the vibes, man. Let's go, man. <laughs> yes, sir. Tell us what your favorite part of the film was, your whole part, favorite part of making this film. It's me, man. It got to be me. Hey, 
club scene. You gonna see it, man. Check it, man. It's going, <laughs> man. It's going go crazy, man. Viral, man. Real movie type Security. shit. <laughs> All right, nah, I'm nah, just fucking with y'all. Just fucking with you. But y'all know what it is. It's my dog, man. I love this boy. Penthouse Television. You know what it is. Appreciate you, baby. Mm. Crash. Come on, come on, come here. Come on, come on, brother. My brother Crash. Let's talk. Tell the camera, what are you wearing today? You looking mighty sharp, my brother. What are you wearing today? I ain't gonna lie to you, man. This uh this all Minotti clothing brand, man. MinottiClothingBrand.com, CrashMinotti.com. Uh, you gonna find everything you need. Um Hey. The brother is looking sharp if I might add, man. Hey, come on, man. Sharper than attack. Yeah, I'm always put that shit on, man. We be dressing more than Thanksgiving. What they talking about? Crash, with this movie, with this movie being sold out, tell me what are you looking forward to most with this premiere? Man, the laughs. I can't wait to laugh, man. I I seen a couple of pieces and just a little bit that I've seen already, man, has been hilarious. So I ain't gonna lie, it's it. about to be a classic. It's gonna be a classic. And you got some big movies coming up too. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Cheers for Tasha. You care to spill any tea about what you got coming up? Snow is gonna be big, man. It's gonna be epic. And uh, yeah. if I gotta spill any tea, man, I would just say, stay tuned. Hey, Crash from Naughty, you know what he say? No breaks. I appreciate you, my brother. Penthouse Television, we rocking at the Her Way premiere. My God, appreciate you. Crash from Naughty, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is the Got That Shit On Fest. I don't even, this is the Her Way premiere slash Got That Shit On Fest. Because if they stepping like this all night, y'all y'all in for a treat, man. If they stepping like this all night. Rue, is they going to be stepping like this all night? <laughs> all right, and tell us who we got here today. Uh, I'm Trey. I play Trey in Her Way. Hey, that's and that's part of the reason why we stopped. Thing. Tell us about uh, what you got on today and how you came uh, with your ensemble. Oh man, I just got on uh, something light today. You know, I hit them with the all blue. Came with the little light purple up under and hit them with the uh, two tone brown shoes. Hey, you hey. Know? Trey, I'm, you popping your shit, Trey. You got that shit on. You got that shit on. So you're a star in the film, correct? Yeah, I'm uh, supposed to be the uh, overseas athlete. Oh, say it again? Overseas athlete, the okay. basketball player. All right, for the people who haven't seen the film, give us one thing we can look forward to to this film. You don't have to spill no secrets, but just give us one thing we can look forward to to this film, Trey. Um, I would just say comedy. You know, just, just a lot of laughter. You know, unexpected laughter. You know, I mean, that's, that's, that's what I would say. Well, y'all heard it from Trey himself. Started uh, her way, one of the stars in the Her Way film. He got that shit on. My boy got that shit on. I appreciate you for your time, Trey. You hey, Her Way film, the premiere is going crazy. Penthouse Television, Ben Billy film. Ladies and gentlemen, we got one of the most creative and brilliant minds that this world has seen. Ladies and gentlemen, tell us who we got here today. Dom Campbell. Dom Campbell. Okay, Dom Campbell. If y'all don't know. Great, brilliant director, creative director, um, producer. He does it. Listen, he does it all. Just a very brilliant, um, creative. One of the man, uh, one of the men behind a lot of the things that go on in the city, and also one of the mans behind this Hardway film. Dom, tell us what we can expect from this Hardway film. Man, you're gonna have some laughter. You're gonna have some fun, some excitement, and maybe you might get a a, a new little uh, way to think about how women think about us and how we should be moving with them. So I'm excited. <laughs> it sounds good. It sounds good. So um, tell us what position you played to this, because I know Tone is director. Tell us what position you actually played an instrument in him to get this done. Yeah, man, I was the producer, so I helped make sure that the whole film was financed and, and orchestrated with a good crew. And then I also was on the crew to assist direct with the film to make sure, you know, he got all the shots he needed. So, yeah. That sounds, listen, it sounds amazing. Tell us what different what's, what differences can we expect from these films from the other films that we've seen? Because, of course, you put out great work, but what differences can we see in this film? Um, well, the other films was a lot of crime, drama, was deep, dark. This is a light feeling movie like it, it's going to make you feel good so i think that's what's going to be really different than all the other films i'm looking forward to it i seen the premiere i mean i'm not the premiere i'm sorry i seen a uh, preview of it it looks funny as shit i'm looking forward to it um before we get you out of here dom i know you busy tell us what inspired the drip because you got that shit on if I, you, you got the shit on i, I like the style I could get, man. The closest to orange I could get. This is red, so I figured I ain't never done it like this before. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta come how I come when I come. So you just had to come different on them. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. My brother Don Campbell, I truly appreciate you. A great event. If y'all see behind us, don't say it's not supporting the city. This is this is proof. Look at this. So listen, her way film is going down. I'm coming. All right. Pre appreciate you. Mm. Her way film, Bang Belly Films, Penthouse Television is going down. Yes, sir. So 
So, uh, again, I appreciate y'all. Uh, before I introduce Tone, I'm going to have Lonnie, uh, one of our stars. Great, and like, after shooting that movie, I found myself again. Like, I'm happy, life is going great. I love this movie, I love them. I met some amazing people, and it's just like, I love this, I love y'all, man. It's, it's, it's just crazy, like, I've been doing this 10 summers straight, like, and this is just the beginning, I just pre pre continue to support me, man. I'm trying not to shed a tear, man, but I love y'all. I hope y'all enjoy this movie. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all know the story, I ain't gotta say too much. I always like this movie. I love y'all, thank y'all. Y'all got me out of my depression, all of that shit, man. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. 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 Alright, first and foremost, let the people know who we got here today. It's your man Juice Finesse. We in here, Columbus, what up? My dog Juice, man, he just had a very, very good role in the movie. I don't want to blow the surprise for the people who ain't seen it, but um, tell me what was your one of your favorite parts about making the whole movie in the process? Um, just being around everybody, seeing everybody, uh, you know, bring this new scene to Columbus. You know, uh, it's dope to see the city do some different stuff. So they they say that we don't got support in the city, but from from the look, right, of it's crazy out here. This look like, hey. The city out. The city out. Y'all keep supporting them. Keep supporting Imperium Studios. They got all the movies. They're going to keep coming. They're going to keep coming. They get better every time. Support my people, y'all. And can we expect to see Juice in some more movies upcoming? Oh, yeah. I'm about to get my Denzel on. It's lit. My dog, I appreciate you, Juice. Uh. Yes, sir. You know what it is. Her way film. Banging on, bang on the screen. And you know it's going down, man. A very beautiful situation. Like I said, over 200 tickets sold. Here at the premiere, her way film. The cast did an amazing job. And we putting on for the city. You see the culture. This is the culture, man. You feel me? The culture is coming alive. It's a it's a different time. It's a different day. It's a different space. And it's our time, man. We here, man. Payouts Television, your boy Bangy on deck. Let's go. First and foremost, tell the people who we got here. Hi, I'm Gracie. I was crew on the movie. Also had a cameo. <laughs> so Gracie was crew. I, I seen Gracie in some uh, playing extras. I seen you all over this movie. I seen you all over this movie. Are you always have you always been acting, or did you just start? Oh, I'm in a, I'm in the crew mostly. That just happened. <laughs> okay, so Gracie's actually in the crew, but she had to wear some other helmets. Tell me. Crew member right here. <laughs> we're gonna get him. Tell before we go, Gracie. Uh, we'll get you in a second. Tell us what your favorite one of your favorite parts about creating this film with the crew. Ah, the vibes. Everyone was a vibe. I know that sounds like a cheap answer, but, you know, everyone just hangs out. Everyone's friends with each other, so it was a good time. I love it. And before we let you go, tell us what inspired your look. You're looking nice. Oh, tell us what inspired your look today. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Hollywood, right? You know, glamour, sparkles. Yeah, you got you to gotta go all out, you know? <laughs> so y'all heard it here from Gracie. Thank you so much, Gracie. You're welcome. Congratulations. You guys did amazing. <laughs> So y'all heard it from Gracie herself, your boy Bangy. Dom, a word with the Hey, hold on. Come on, man. Come on in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. We back. So I talked to my brother before the movie. Now that I had a chance to personally sit in on the movie and see it myself. You just keep going up every time, man. And, I, and I'm definitely proud of you. One of my favorite takeaways from the movie was... The score, the sound score, I think it was scored very well as far as the music, the placements of the songs, the right scenes. I think that that was just amazing. Um, how do you how do you feel the turnout was overall for the project? Man, this turnout was amazing, man. We haven't had a premiere since COVID. So like for us to be able to come out of COVID a couple of years later and trust that people is going to come out, I'm really happy how it turned out, man. I'm really excited. Amazing movie. You and Tone did y'all thing. I'm so honored to be here. I'm blessed. Thank you. And keep going up, Dom. Thank you, bro. Hey, Hardway Film, here at the Lennox, your boy Bang Belly Films. We are here getting all the exclusives, all the interviews you want. Hey, Floyd. Floyd. <laughs> hey, we got my brother Floyd, live from Penthouse Television. Hey, my brother's an official actor now. What, what's next, L3? What's next, man? 
I don't even know what's next. I'm just gonna keep going and doing what I'm doing and wherever God take me, that's just where it's gonna go. Cause I ain't even know this movie and all this was gonna roll out for me. So, but definitely be expected for part two. You heard that here first. Part two, we're gonna be filming that soon. We're gonna start filming that soon. I ain't gonna lie, brother. You shocked me with your acting skills. I, I didn't expect you to be so good. Where, how long have you wanted to actually act, or was it something that you, like you said, you didn't want to do it at first, but you said, fuck it, I'm going to take the opportunity, or is this something you always knew you would do? What's crazy is I took acting school in high school, and I had an A+. Plus in that. You know how people skip classes and stuff? I used to look forward to going to that, that, that class. Like I used to could miss school, but I used to want to go just for that class, and I had an A period, you know what I'm saying? And I did that. So Mr. Hagerman's class, if you know, you know. I used to love that class. We still got a uh, film of that, me acting. And I always said, man, I can't wait to act. I want to try it out. I want to know. And I got this. And like I said, when I told the story, I got this when I was depressed. I was depressed shooting this movie. Like, I just moved back. You know what I'm saying? I just got out of my relationship. I was going through some financial stuff. And this movie just brought me around so much positive people. And like, now I'm really exper experienced in seeing what I did. Back you back, you back, L3 back. back Listen, this role was a typical role for you because you used to rocking stages, used to selling out parties. Floyd, did, Floyd is really L3 in real life. Tell me for your next movie, what type of role would you like to play next possibly? What type of role? Um, I was thinking about an action. I want to I get into like action film, like maybe like, you know what I'm saying? Like on some, some like drugs and crime and yeah. stuff like that. Get yeah. into the hardcore, you know what I'm saying? I think I got a side of that people don't see. They see me just as this nice guy, but they don't know. I'm a bad guy too now if you get me there. So I would like to unleash that. You know what I'm saying? It's never know, some BMF type. Hey, hopefully we hopefully we see L3 in the next action movie. Her Way Film, Linux Premiere, Penthouse Television on set. It's your boy Bangy L3. I love you. I appreciate you. Keep going up. Hey, it's, it's amazing. L3, y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, ladies and gentlemen, step back a little bit. Some of a lot of y'all may know this man, but for those who don't know, this is the creative behind everything, the man who makes it happen, the cinema photographer, legend, the GOAT, Cincinnati's very own Dream Vision. What's going on, man? Hey, what's up with you, man? Hey, we just checked out the film, the Hurway film. Um, listen, it goes up every time it levels up. I'm proud of y'all. I love what y'all was doing. I love the fact that you hopped in there and showed us some of your acting skills on this motherfucker. That, that was a surprise for me, but it was a good surprise. Tell me what your favorite part of working on the film was. Um, just, I feel like this film right here was, man, just, I feel no one was really acting, man. It's just the things we do day to day. We just said, let's map it out and just make it into a 90 minute film, man. Let's just do what we go through. Like even my role as being a security guard, I've been a guy on the, the other side of dealing with security, yeah, man. That, man. Listen, man, I'm just trying to get in the club, bro. I done spent my money. I woo -dee -woo, let me get in. I don't know. I don't know. You need to talk to the people that's in there, bro. So you know, we just we we we, we you you know what we did, man. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And I was talking about the fashion, how everybody her stepping. You got the simple drip on, but it's complete. Something I will actually wear. Tell us what inspired your drip today on the carpet. Um, so what inspired my drip was a group chat. We doing tuxedos. I don't think we should do tuxedos. Should we do designer? Maybe, maybe not. All right, let's just figure out the middle side. You know what I mean? I love it. I <laughs> That's love it. That's all it is. And before we get you out of here, tell us, tell the people what we can expect next from Dream. I know you got big things in the works. You help in the works. You help everybody else bring their vision to life. Tell them what can we expect for Dream in the 20, 2023 season. All right, so with Dream, man, Dream got his own scripts coming up, man. We better, we better go crazy with the movie side, man. We better go crazy. Hey, you heard it first from the man himself, Dream Vision. I appreciate you. My boy. It's all love. Penthouse Podcast. Bang Belly Films on set. Hey, Herway Film. Let's get it. First and foremost, tell the people who we have here with us. Damari Young. Delon's mom. <laughs> okay, and for those who don't know, this is Floyd's, a.k.a. L3's mom. Okay, uh, I know seeing your son star in this movie, selling out hella shows and, and parties all over the world, like, it's what he do. You birthed this, you birthed this child. Tell us how you felt seeing him in his first movie. Like, what was your, you just experiencing this. Can we have some of your thoughts? Yeah, it was, it was just, 
priceless. Like just seeing him on the big screen, like I didn't seen him do his hosting things and you know being on the radio and things like that. But to see him on the big screen and where like the public come out and support and everybody just in the theater and just see his face up there and, it's, and just his name, period. Yeah. It was just like no words, no words. No words. No it was just like damn, we made it. I mean, you know, I'm proud, but. Yeah, it was it was amazing. It's amazing. And can we? What what was your favorite part of the movie? Your favorite part? It was. I liked a lot of the comedy part, but I think my favorite part was the end when he was telling Santana, like, you didn't need these guys to make it, and you know, you your own person, and I got you. You know, so that was my favorite part. I love it. And for your young bright son, can we just have some words? To the to the to the future him from Mom Dukes. Don't stop. I know sometimes you know things may seem hard or like they're not getting better, but just hang in there. Uh, I got your back. Your family got your back. Just keep going. You know, don't let nothing stop you. We didn't been through hard times. We didn't seen hard times, but the only way up. We just going up now. Ain't no down. That's it. I love it. Well, you heard it here first from the Mama Goat, from Mama L3 Goat. I had, he's you're very you're a very important piece in his life. He I know that I know that. So I had to get you to speak a couple words on him. So thank you so much. Can I have a hug? Yes. Thank you. Y'all heard it first, man. Here, Penthouse Podcast. Your boy Bangy. Her way film. Completely crazy. You just heard from the, one of the uh, co-stars' mothers. That was L3 Mom. That was the mama goat. I'ma get paid today. Hey. I got a million ways. Go ahead. Niggas is lollygagging. Uh. See me, I just can't relate. Too many you got up pain. Uh. You niggas Charlemagne. Goop. This shit like the Breakfast Club. And I'm always waking up late. So? I gave a little thought some hope. But I can't give it no dates. I'm sorry, I'm sorry babe, I'm on the grind. Uh. So you just gotta be.